Hello, my YouTube and Lego building friends. This is welcome to an episode of Journal Entry. And uh, we are almost halfway through January, so no more Happy New Year, like I said last week. And uh, this is one where I'm cheersing. I'm, it's a Friday as I'm recording this. It's been a, a long week. I don't know if uh, if you're also seeing that, whether you're in school, maybe you're in work, whatever the case may be, I'm sure people are just like, it's it's now go time. We're in 2023, it's time to go. And 2023 is the season of more building Lego, of course. So, and I've got in front of me a bunch of stuff uh, going on in the Lego life. Uh, but just to kind of uh, go through the week real quick, and before I do that, make sure to like it's awesome. It really supports the channel. Thank you so much uh, for everybody that throws a like. Thank you for the new subscribers out there, the existing fans of the Journal of the Scots channel. I appreciate you. You guys are all the the, the best. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, you know, it's just that easy to join me on my collecting journey and uh, just kind of talking about life in general. So this week was just it was a good, I would just call it a good solid week of work. Monday, I got my pickleball in. I felt like I played really well, so that's a solid thing to start the week. Then, as the week progressed, Bad Batch, holy cow. Um, I did catch up. That was, I think, Wednesday morning I caught up, um, or Wednesday evening. I didn't wasn't able to watch it right away. The rumors were, and I just saw the headlines, that the third episode was awesome. And, whoa, uh, I think in terms of animated series, Bad Batch Season 2, Episode 3 is definitely a top 10 animated Star Wars property or episode of all time. Uh you look at Rebels, there's definitely a few awesome... Like, Clone Wars had some really great episodes. Bad Batch Season 1 had its, you know, just kind of some ups and ups and downs. But ultimately, this was just such an amazing episode. We won't give anything away, but I really recommend getting into Season 2. First episodes were kind of like video game-ish to me, uh, but then, wow, did it really kind of come together. So... Other than that, then I just kind of relegated myself to to drinking wine. So that was why I had that uh, going tonight while I build. The biggest thing, and maybe I need to do a video on this, is talking about the snacks while building is really important. Although when I'm doing videos, I don't do a lot of snacks, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, but, you know, making sure that you have your soda or your uh, carbonated uh, beverage of your choice uh, or maybe some hot coffee uh, to stay awake as you're building. Um, the other things just kind of happening is you can see everything is still kind of a or disorganized and a mess. Um, just a ton of building going on. Uh, the Mercari halls continue to flow. Let's get into some of the the videos. I'll uh, look at my uh, uh, this last week. Uh, it's funny, This it started off on Tuesday, I did the review of the VIP blanket, which is right behind me. So if I get cold, which doesn't happen too often, uh, I can stay warm as I'm building. Uh, that was pretty fun. And then, let's see, oh, and I've, I've been doing a lot of Vader's Castle. You, I don't have it directly behind me. Uh, it's currently off because I'm doing the uh, advent calendar right now, which is a really funny story in itself because out of nowhere, this set came. I didn't think I was going to be getting it. So this is the 2017 advent calendar. So now I got five advent calendars last last year, plus the two I already have. So I had five more remaining. I just got the 2017, so I only have four left to collect. And so far, 2017 has been a really good one. Um, but other than that, in between advent calendars, <laughs> I've been building Darth Vader's castle, and that is a lot of fun. I did release this week. Uh, oh, I did a Makari haul on Wednesday this this last week. That was uh, a Shadow Guard, uh, so check it out. And then another Rebel Pilot, which is really good. And then uh, yesterday I released... It's probably... 
the most entertaining just general building vlog I've ever put out. And mainly because my uh, kids were in the room at the time. And some of the banter is just, it's really, it kind of brings me back to building as a kid and us just saying the most ridiculous things all the time and uh, you know talking about music and just weird things going on in the world and uh, it's definitely worth a listen. I'm really glad that I actually captured it um, and it was just building a snow trooper battle pack nothing huge but the conversation was definitely pretty funny and then I continued along with the Darth Vader's uh, build series that's really coming along so next week as I kind of look ahead of course journal entry make sure to watch um, each week and then Tuesday I've got I'm continuing the uh, I'll do a snow trooper battle pack review we've got uh, I'll, I'll do Vader's castle reviews I've got all sort or building we've got bag number six at the very least maybe bag seven we'll see how much of vader's castle i want to release next week but there's a lot of really really good content i need to do a vlog at some point and start cleaning up a lot of this mess because i keep building more and more and there's usually some leftover parts especially after this advent calendar i'll probably have a few extra uh parts there so so it's really all very much coming along i mean this this episode and really this last week is just all about putting in the work, doing some build, and really just having a lot of fun both with family and just even kind of getting away from family and doing some building. So as soon as they go to sleep, it's time to get out the wine and do some building. Um, otherwise, the oh, the other piece is again, and, I, and I, every week I put it in the description if you haven't used Mercari, it's a decent place. You know, eBay is really solid. There's a lot of Lego communities really growing on whatnot. But I really like, especially for figures and things, especially those mid-range and, you know, battle packs, those types of things, Mercari is a great place, and I've been buying and selling. And uh, I've actually sold a couple more things on uh, on Macari and I've loaded up a couple more so I'm kind of slowly loading some things up. I'm hoping maybe they put like a you know start the year right and do another coupon code. Uh I don't know how often they actually do it. I don't really remember uh, you know how often. I think I just started selling, you know, early last year. So hopefully Macari does something good. If not, again, use my code Start it off, you get $10 if you uh, coupon to go spend. I think there's a certain price range that you need to buy. I think over $20 or $30 or something along those lines. And then if you sell a bunch of stuff, then you get another coupon. So it's totally it's totally worth it. And sometimes it's just worth selling you know, clothes or old exercise equipment or... You know, I've sold some, you know, here and there, a couple electronics that are that are older. You know, maybe there's some figures or parts that you don't really want anymore and just want to trade it in, even if it's for a couple dollars. You know, I, I sold, I've had, uh, how many sold, sales am I up to? Let's see, let's take a look. Uh, I have 65 reviews and 42 completed sales. So that's just over a year and 42 sales. Yeah, you know, that's that's huge. I've sold uh, almost, uh, I think it, I've sold over $500 worth of stuff. So that's how much revenue I generated. I haven't really necessarily, with all the fees, you kind of make a little bit less. But if you think about it, $500, just think if you were to say, if my budget was zero for Lego, you can't get anything. But if your budget's $500 and it's just money that's just sitting around your house, that you could go and you can get Sith Trooper Battle Pack that you've always wanted. Like, why not do it? So with that, that's it. Just uh, go out there, get it, have fun, do some building, sell stuff around your house. Uh, it's totally worth it. It pays off. Just patience. You know, one one sale at a time, and then you you can make your goal of uh, sell. I recommend selling five or $600 a year to help support the hobby. So with that... Thank you so much for joining me. You guys are the best, and we'll catch you on the next journal entry. Bye for now.